Good morning. What is up, family? Good morning, slayers. You know, because we're slaying budgets, we're slaying our goals all this year and beyond. So, um, this is my third paycheck of April. First, we're going to get into the budget and then we're going to get into stuffing my envelopes. And I'm going to try to speed through this because your girl most definitely has to go to work today. So <laughs> I need to get this done. And I just wanted to get this recorded before um, I have to go into work. So I'm trying to go on a blah. I'm going to try to do this. That was a tongue twister. Try to get this done in like one take. So if you hear me flubbing words and all of that, just mind your business, pretend like you didn't hear it. All right, but for my budget, um, as always, we're just doing the budget from my job, not any Etsy funds or anything like that. So this week's paycheck was $749.76. And bills that are coming out on the first, I have the boys aftercare bill to do. So that is $162. It's really 161 and some change, but we'll just round up to 162. And then uh, my credit card, putting 30 on that. Finger Hut, that is getting 75. Um, Netflix is 13.99. Comcast 9.95. And then the boys are outside playing, so I can say it this time. The Disney Cruise payment is 150 dollars, and Savings, I'm putting 5%, which is $37. Yeah, $37.48. So that is all of my bills. And yes, I do treat savings like it is a bill, just to make sure that I actually do it. Because if I treat it like it's optional, like my envelopes are, I would always shortchange it and never stuff it. And I'm dead serious about trying to build up my savings. So I treat it like a bill. Then that in total comes to $478.43, which leaves us with $271.33, which is what we will be taking down to our cash envelopes and we will be stuffing. So for gas, gas is getting $20, grocery is getting $30, self-care is getting $15, and household is getting $10 in our everyday category. Um, and I did go down on the amounts that I'd usually do for gas and grocery because, again, this is like an additional paycheck. Like we had three pay periods this month. So I figured on the 7th is when I get my next paycheck. So that should hold me over. And I can always just save the $30 in groceries to add it towards the 60 that I'll be stuffing in my first paycheck of May. So... That's why these are shorter, well, lessened than they normally are. And then moving on to our prep and landing category, we're doing 15 for miscellaneous. Tom, Tom, and Theo are getting their usual 10 each. Uh, Back to school is getting its usual 40, and beauty is getting its usual 15. I do not ever, 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 ever shortchange Tom, Tom, and Theo in back to school. They always get the same thing, no matter what my paycheck is looking like. So... That pretty much stayed the same, um, which totaled out to $165 for both uh, everyday category and prep and landing, which left us with $106.33 that we take over to the rest of our envelopes, which is long-term and build. So for long-term, new car, new house, and retirement, they are each getting 20. And then going into build, um, emergency fund is getting 10, car maintenance is getting 10, and then travel is getting $6, business is getting 5, by her hand, Soapery, link down below, go check it out. Um, and then Christmas, birthdays, and Black Friday, I decided to just add them to the bill category instead of having them in a separate binder. So they are now a part of, a part of build. So they're each getting $5 a piece. So with that being said, 
long term and billed took the totaled out to $106, which left me 33 cents, which I'll probably just electronically transfer to another envelope. Not sure which one, not that it really matters because it's 33 cents, but whatever, any penny counts. So now we can get into the good old stuffing. This is the denominations of exactly what bills are supposed to go into each envelope. So I'm gonna fold the book over. And we're going to take the money out of my good old Navy Federal envelope. I'm going to put it into my uh, little cash drawer that I created. And then we're going to get to stuffing. Okay, so now we have everything situated inside of my little cash drawer. And everything is really spaced out because we're only dealing with fives, tens, twenties, and then one lonely $1 bill. And I just wanted them to like stand up straight. So I just put them where they would stand up straight. So, all right, let's get into stuffing these envelopes. And we will be working first with our everyday category, but this time we'll be using my new wallet that I got off of Amazon. I'm telling you, this has been so convenient to just have this in my purse. And I'm going to All right, and I'm going to open it up and take these envelopes out. Give me one second. All right, we'll set the wallet to the side for now. So here are envelopes. That is the back, hold on. So gas, grocery, self-care, household. And I did add miscellaneous to this category. I didn't, it's not still, a, Miscellaneous is not a part of every day. It's still a part of prep and landing. I just, it was easier to carry it around since sometimes I do dip into this. So that is there. And then I had taken out, I had made an envelope because my, the new cash envelope came with 12 um, envelopes. So I did write some, like assign the other envelopes that I had left over to categories. So business now gets one of these and I took this out because I was doing business stuff, but I'll set that to the side because we don't need that right now. All right, so for gas, gas gets 20, which is two tens. And we will be sitting that in here. Okay. Next is grocery, which is getting 30, which is a 20 and a 10. All right. Come on. All right, so a 20 and 10 into grocery, and I hate when it like folds up like that. There we go, much better. All right, so grocery is done. Self-care is getting 15, just a 10 and a five. Okay, so self-care is done. All right, and now we are getting into household, which is getting 15, which is just another... Oh, wait. We had household as getting $10. Let me start crossing stuff out on my little tracker. That way I know I've completed it. Yeah, household is getting 10. I 
I almost gave it more money than I was supposed to. And then did my usual, something went wrong when money wasn't adding up. All right, so crisis averted there. <laughs> so let me cross that out. Now getting into miscellaneous, it's miscellaneous that gets 15, which is a 10 and a five. All right, so that brings us to the end of everything that was inside of my new cash envelope wallet. Let me put everything back in its original order. All right, and put this back in the binder. I'm telling y'all, I really miss the days when I was able to stuff more into my envelopes. And it really like, all right. And it really was only like $150 that I was able to stuff more of because that's how much of each paycheck I saved for our Disney cruise payment. But I tell you, it matters. <laughs> like I, I feel it's loss like not really because i'm not wanting for anything like everything still gets paid that's not the problem just like i notice it when it comes time to stuff the envelopes and do my budget like i can't put away as much money as i usually did but it's for a purpose i haven't been on vacation in forever my kids haven't been on vacation in a while so they deserve it I deserve it so I'll take this little hit for the moment so we can go make some experiences okay um, now getting into the rest of prep and landing uh, Tom Tom gets his usual 10 Which brings him to 10, 20, 30, 40, 5, 50, 5, 60, 5, 70, 5, 80, 5, 90, 5, 105. So 105 is now in Tom Tom's envelope. Theo also gets a 10. Which I did pay them back, the money that I had to take out for their shoes. So they should have the same amount now. 10, 20, 5, 30, 5, 40, 5, 50, 5, 60. 575 85 95 105 Yay. All right, so they're back on one accord. All right, so Tom Tom and Theo are done. Back to school gets his usual 40, which is 220s. which brings them to 20, 40, 60, 80. And I do have to like really find a way to keep track of what I have in the bank plus what is in these envelopes because y'all, the placeholders never came. Like I think we've already discussed this where I'm just taking it for a loss and calling it a day on those trackers, but they still never came so Um, I know for a fact that in the bank we have $320 for back to school. So in addition to what we have in this envelope, 
we are well on our way to having enough when September rolls around. All right, so back to school. And I'm just checking those things off the tracker so that I don't keep looking in their general direction and getting confused. All right, so beauty is getting 15. A 10 and a 5. Okay, so 10, 20, 5, 30 is now in beauty. I still have to find someone out here to do my hair, put them in braids. All right, so that brings us to the end of Prep and Landing. Now going into long term, new car, new house, and no, new car retirement and new house. There we go. So they each get 20. So I'll just take out three 20s, which is all we have left for 20s. So these each get a 20. And at first, when I saw that it was three pay periods in this month, I was so excited. Like, oh, it's going to be like a whole check where I can just do whatever with. But no, baby, no. Not at all. All right, so let me count this first. 100, 2, 4, 6, 8, 5. So 185 is now in retirement. And this also has money in the bank. So one day I'm going to figure it out. I did buy a Pink X Budgets um, tracker that she had like for tracking the money that you have in the bank plus what's in your envelopes. But she uses some sort of app to where she can like write on her tablet what she has and when she adds everything up. I tried to use that app, but it does not work for me. Like I can't figure it out. All right, so 20 for new car, which now brings us to 40 in new car. All right, so now we are done with, did I count new house? I don't think I counted new house. All right, so new house has two, 40, 55. So $55 plus money in the bank. All right, so that brings us to the end of long term. But I was saying, like, I was so excited to get three paychecks for the month. But the way all the bills and their due dates lined up, it was basically like this was just an extra paycheck for me to get all of my beginning of the month bills paid before my first paycheck of May comes because then everything would have been late. So, yeah, no free money here. There was no play money, no type of wiggle room. Stuff had to get paid. And even as I'm thinking about it, like I'm thinking like, okay, maybe my first paycheck of May will be, I'll be able to like have some wiggle room and some play to do with stuff and like increase how much I stuff for that paycheck. But I'm, I don't know. We're going to see. We are truly going to see. <laughs> But uh, getting into emergency funds, let me check off my tracker or well, my 
budget by paycheck workbook, everything I just stuffed so I don't confuse myself. All right, so new uh, emergency fund and car maintenance both get $10 which is all I have left, so looks like I'm on the right track. Y'all, being an adult is so hard and it is so unfair. 10, 20, 5, 30 is now an emergency fund. You gotta build this thing all the way back up. All right, so emergency fund is done, and I will update the tracker later. Um, if you didn't see the video of me un like unboxing my cash wallet and everything that came in it, these were the other envelopes that were inside of the new cash wallet. So I did use the budget sheets for these tra um, these envelopes for this category, since I do actually want to track it. So yeah, I'll update these later. Car maintenance, let me give you your 10. All right, 10, 25. So $25 is now in car maintenance, which I have to build all the way back up to since I have work done on my car. All right, and then travel gets six dollars. Which brings us to ten, twenty, five, six, twenty six dollars is now in travel. Don't go in there. And then business gets five. All right. And then birthdays. Black Friday and Christmas, they all get the last three remaining fives. Yay, y'all, this is cause for celebration. I actually did it with no mess ups, no confusion. Go me. Because normally I'd have had so many mistakes. All right. So now for birthdays, we have 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. $19 is in birthdays, which I have to build back up after Tom Tom's birthday party. Because Theo's is in July and he is plotting on everything that he wants. Like, y'all, when I tell you he's only five and he just lost his first tooth. He told me that it was wiggly on Monday. By Wednesday, I came home from work. The boy handed me his tooth. And I was like, okay, I can get my dollar now. Like he pulled out his own tooth, y'all, so that he could get money from the tooth fairy, which he knows is me. Like at first when they were younger, I did the whole tooth fairy and Santa Claus is real type stuff. But then I got sick of giving an imaginary person credit for all my hard work. So, like last year, they were told the bitter truth that none of those people exist and that it is all mommy and daddy who supply these things. But that was kind of like a mistake because now they know 
that when stuff happens, they we're the ones that they need to hit up for the money. And he was really like a bill collector. He kept stalking me like, um, because I forgot, y'all, I forgot. I went to sleep, forgot to put the dollar underneath his pillow. And he like really came to me the next morning with his tooth and was like, um, excuse me, but you forgot to leave me my dollar. Like, and would not stop following me around the house until I finally just grabbed my wallet and just gave him a dollar. Like, here, please get out of my face. Goodness. All right, so now in what category was this? Black Friday, we have two, four, six, 70, 80, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. $99 are now on Black Friday. Not sure exactly what I want to buy Black Friday, but at least I had, know I'm going to have some sort of money to buy something. Maybe I'll use the Black Friday money to finally buy myself another camera after Theo threw my other one in the toilet when he was a baby. Maybe this is what that'll be for. All right, and then Christmas, guess this last five. And I believe Christmas and Black Friday should have the same amount in them. Or no, Christmas should be a dollar short. Because this is where I got the dollar from to give to Theo. So he would stop hunting me down like he was a tax collector. So two, four, 60, 70, 80, 90, 5, 96, 97, 98. All right, so $98 are in Christmas. Okay, and that brings us to the end of all of our envelopes. I'm gonna to try to put these back in order so I can put them back in the binder. Uh, next comes travel. Car maintenance emergency. Okay, so, yay, can put my book away. All right, so we did that one, that one. All right, all of you can get checked off because you are stuffed inaccurately. All right, and so my message to myself for this, the ending of this month is to stay the course. Don't let the amount distract you from the goal. Stay the course. So that is my message to all of you guys. Sit that to the side. All right, guys. So like I always say, all 2021 and beyond, we are slaying our own dragons, solving our own problems and making things happen for ourselves. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe if you like this sort of content. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Oh.